Hey, what's up, guys? Bastion here. Come back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking about a little bit of a unique topic, something we haven't really hit on before with CSGO investing. But before we hop on into it, only a small percentage of you guys who watch the videos are actually subscribed. Discord's the top link in the description. Let's hop on into it. So today we're going to be talking about the five best times to invest into CSGO cases and skins or whatever you're really looking to invest into. For this, we're mainly talking about cases and when we see price dips and things like that. First up here, we got to go with operations. Now operations are a huge part of CSGO investing because that's when we see huge dips and we can see up to 20 to 30% dips, which is super easy to get in and make some quick profit no matter what, especially if you're trying to invest for the longer term. But overall, this is just a great time to buy in general. We see everyone quick selling everything they have so they can pick up that pass. And if we're starting to see like Shattered Web and Operation Broken Fang where we have the battle pass system where you can immediately buy stars, that's even better because we're going to see even more major drops as people are selling everything so they can buy more and more stars. And it's just a repeating cycle where the price eventually goes down significantly because people are undercutting each other trying to get as much money as quickly as they can. During these times, if you're really on the ball, you can make a lot of quick and easy profit. When Operation Broken Fang hit, I bought two Bravo cases for $22 each, which is significantly cheaper than any place, anywhere, and I bought them on the Steam market, so it's a lot of opportunity to be able to come in really quickly, steal some nice cash, and just head on back to whatever you were doing. It's a really quick and easy way. Second up here, we got majors. Now majors are a little bit weird because we haven't had a major in almost two years. Stockholm is going to mark two years and it's going to be very interesting because we're not 100% sure if we're going to see the same downfall in the market as we usually do. With the majors and usually when the sticker sale happens for the major, we start to see some pretty big decreases all across the board because people are selling so they can pick up things that they think are investments which they most likely will end up putting on their guns or anything like that if they're not actual people into CSGO investing. Most of the time they end up using the stickers or opening up any of the sticker capsules they buy. As I was saying though, in the past this has been a really easy way to get in along with operations. But coming up for Stockholm here, we're not 100% sure what's going to happen. Some people think that just because we have had two years that people are going to put tons and tons of money into it and everything is going to drop significantly. And on the other hand, some people think that since we've had so long to prepare for this, people are going to have the right amount of money set. It's just kind of a balance and trying to find the balance in there. I think we're definitely going to see some dips, but are the dips significant enough where you can make some quick profit? And that's usually the best time is when you're seeing more than 15% of a dip because in a week or two, it might be able to recover and you'll be able to make some super easy profit in that time. It's gonna be definitely really interesting though and something you need to keep your eye on if you're into CSGO investing. Building off that is our third one here and that's when we have huge CSGO sales. Now this is very similar but such in the case of like the RMR capsules it was a great time to invest and there still is some profit left on the table today but I would definitely recommend that when a huge sale hits and you see these big decreases it's also a great time to buy in. Usually this lines up very well with majors though and they kind of blend together. Fourth up here, we've got some case releases. Now I put some in front of it because not every case release is going to be a great time to invest. If we see a case and it's just got very meh stuff overall, it's not going to be a big downfall in the market. We're not gonna see huge dips. But if we see a case that comes out with a bunch of different butterfly knife variations, different finishes on it or something like that, we could definitely see a downfall in the market as those are going to be very expensive. Something that's very desirable in the case and the community is willing to sell and sell at a loss so they can unbox some of these. I think that's something that you definitely have to look out for. But a lot of the case releases here are not going to push big enough downfalls for most skins and most cases. It's got to be something that's very specific and something the community is really looking for. Finally then, we've got number five here and that's going to be Steam events. Now Steam events are something that's kind of going out of style because man, we haven't seen a good one in a long time. The Steam Summer Sale last year wasn't very great. Hoping this year is going to be a little bit different. The Steam Summer Sale always brings some good downfalls to CSGO investing. 
It's a pretty cheap time to buy in, only when the sale is good though, that's the thing. Last year was not the greatest, we didn't have any good games in my opinion on sale, and for that reason it was a real struggle trying to find some good investments there because there really wasn't many things that were going down in price. Overall for this list I definitely say the Steam events and the case releases are the two weaker ones on this list just because those are times that you can't really wait just to invest three times a year. It's not very efficient, and those are just good little dips in there you can find to try and put a little extra money and hold off for your bigger purchases until we see a huge downfall, but a 10% downfall is definitely a good place to get started for investing or anything like that. But as always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We're on the road to 5K. We're over 90% there. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.